Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. The I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Who gave the order? <laughs> Don't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call thread? Give me a name. They never gave me a name! I'll tell you a name. It's all right. That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Sometimes you can't walk away. Please, from please. Who gave the order? I spoke to him on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know. A name. Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. Ah! How's your memory now? Ah.
Chris won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I've created here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pop, 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 pop. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great, punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourself. Two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gang bangers. Copy. We're sending forensics. Secure your position for now. We're sweeping each level of the stadium. All right. Doesn't look right to me. Why are they killing each other? And why here, of all places? Looks like a gang hit. Wait. You think it's the vigilante? Does feel like his brand of justice, don't it? Whoa! I wouldn't give to get my hands on that piece of shit. Ugh! I give him a reason.
you, sir. This is yeah, you, bullshit, come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Look, I got my tickets right here. No, no yeah. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're vice wars, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP tickets? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see ID. Both of you. Well, I ain't showing shit. Okay, that's... What? Oh, shit. Hey, y'all filming this? I want to see this motherfucker online. Fine. I don't need ID. I'd ask you to smile, but it works better if you don't. Hey, man. I did not give you permission to take my picture. Here we go. Jerome Richards. Looks like we got a trafficking warrant out on you. That we can definitely use. Man, this is messed up. We got rights? Just keep quiet. <laughs> are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do it all stay here? I thought he wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All these cops, there's gotta be hey. one around. Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Yeah, do it. Oh, shut it down, I... I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can make that call, please. <sighs> okay, hang on. Yeah, get me Barry. Uh, uh, well, tell him to call me ASAP. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone. I'm allergic to cops, so is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, I don't care. Gotta go.
this bad. Finally got the goddamn trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Push Maurice hard. Torture's not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet I'll start reaching out. Last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Our info in finding Maurice was correct. We gained access to the CPU and flagged her while the police were being distracted by you. Since we broke in in this, we'll share what we have. That backdoor allows you some access to the CTOS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. <laughs>
sick of remembering her that way. It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. For me, the city's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. I'll have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. She has such a beautiful life. She just had her birthday. That guy's out of control. I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call, and he's mine. All right, he's here somewhere. Just move carefully, don't get spotted. Profiler, do the work. Nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with Press it. the fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get away! Stop him now. I'll scream. Oh, mine's. I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars. You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck.
I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. In that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... Yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Well, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can we get a hug? Wow. You are big. So, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jackson was the vigilante. So they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think vlogging caller ID will hide you? <laughs> I 
don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid prank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. See how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I need those CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. One hell of a item. Well, the call came from somewhere in the loop district. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Loom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready.
If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Nice day, isn't it? Finding everything okay? Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is Come paramount. Back anytime. So we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner. New security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. I've got better things. CTOS? Already? I'm 
looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. cover something for me. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no. Don't let me push you out. I said I'd handle it. It's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. <laughs> 